Hi folks, this is SJ from Honest Used Car Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing this 2000 Pontiac Bonneville SSEI. This car could be briefly resumed as the flagship seating of elderly people. The new Bonneville in 2000 was a god gift to every road user ever. The car was redesigned on the new G body, a definitive update over the ancient H platform. The car had a much better handling attribute and a much more sedative and easy drive feeling induced into it. A defined plus for the elder crowd. Four wheel disc brakes and the new Stability Track 3 offers much needed vehicle control for the elders, especially with slow fainting feel of depth. It is primordial to reduce the braking distance from below 15 the speed limits to zero. The outside appearance is trying to be bold without over ribbing it. Be sporty without being scary. It represents what the ever aging population needs. A reassurance in the melting pot for role has become. Mending the old time with the future, it is conservative while still expressing its status. The Bonneville relatives, the Aurora and the Le Sabre, have taken similar path. The Aurora going deep into an aggressive spaceship shape, the Le Sabre resorbing into its humble 60s and 70s routes. The interior is very spacious, offers a console centered on the driver, and yet it still inspires you with the feeling of being in an elder's car. The car offers two memory slots for recording your seat, heads-up display, radio and HVAC settings, but they still use these ancient gray buttons straight out of 1993. Sitting in the back, it is even possible to feel the weird breed of nostalgia, a striking recollection of sitting in the same seat. Be 20 or 30 or even 40 years ago, time is in temporal ear, the importance is the sentiment. Knowing that your grandfather is at the wheel, bringing you and your sibling to a water team attraction park, and then in a fraction of a second you snap back, here sitting there in the very same car you rode long in 15 years ago. But now, timer I miss. Your grandfather is now gone, and you now drive this car. It is a weird contraception of events, but merging on the highway, you finally realize the magnetic force the celestial body emits on the elders. It is all underneath the hood of the car, and Let's commemorate the last video I've made for a broader comprehension. Literally, GM plastered this power plant in everything they could at the time. Well, yeah, GM did put this engine in literally everything. The L67 strikes again, producing still 240 horsepower and 280 foot-pounds of torque, it displaces the Bonneville in a timely fashion assuring to never be late at the church bingo or at the hardware store on Monday morning. In the end, we can define a Bonneville as a good compromise between too much and not enough. Just like the Grand Prix, it is a good large car to embark your descendants to an aquatic venture while still having a reasonable roadworthiness. If viewed in a truly monolithic fashion, we can conclude that this car is the flagship seeding of elderly people.